Hello, everybody. Princess the Bear here, and we're back at the boardwalk because we promised you breakfast at the boardwalk deli. We got up super early to do this, so we are here at your request. You guys owe me a nap. Let's go get our deli on. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the And stay boardwalking. Boardwalking? Boardwalking? That's not a word. We're going to go boardwalking. We have these super cool, organic, non-artificial Ramona wine spritzers that are completely vegan. Their entire line is vegan. So we're gonna try these. I got this one, blood orange, so I'm gonna start with this one. But I also wanna point out, friends, that we are here once again with our luck coming to the wobbly table. Yep, it's here. It's extra wobbly. It's our luck. So we're gonna open this and we're gonna cheers to the wobbly table. Cheers. Oh. It's, it, this blood orange is very blood orange tasting. You don't really taste like the wine, the liquor, any of it. It's really good. It's like a better Red Bull but obviously it doesn't give you that kind of energy. Four and a half out of five wine spritzes. All right, so the wobbling was so bad, the table came free in addition to better lighting. So here we go. Wine spritz. Never too early. Wow. That is better than um, I ever expected. Blood orange, wild berries, citrus zest, and hibiscus. Probably what I taste. The hibiscus. That's tasty. Small. But tasty. What, what percent is this? Is this there? I'm not sure. Seven percent alcohol by volume. So it's like a bit stronger than a beer. A little bit. Put in your beer. Three and a half out of five plus. Bears decided to torture me with the grapefruit. The grapefruit is not my jam at all. But these are some good spritzers, so maybe I'm gonna like it. I do like grapefruit zip fizz. I don't think it's the same thing. I just don't like grapefruit. Smell the grapefruit here. It's very grapefruity. It's very grapefruity. I think Bear is gonna like it because he's more into grapefruit than I am. If you like grapefruit, you're gonna like this, but for me, I'm gonna give it two and a half out of five grapefruits because it's too grapefruit forward for me. Back to the, the Griffin fruit, Ruby Griffin fruit in this instance. Uh, with organic grapes, all the organic stuff. What's this one? Does this one tell you from the back of the can? Yeah. No. The other one had like it tastes like in the flavors. This one doesn't have that. Weird. Where's the consistency? Yeah. It's very tart, but not like grapefruit tart, but like a lemonade level tart. 
uh, slightly less flavor than the Blood Orange. You don't have that punch, but it's still very drinkable. And this one, three and a half out of five claws. The Princess definitely made the better choice. with our breakfast ciabatta. This is the other vegan option you have here. We have some just egg, we have some nice little um, salsa topping. It's interesting that you have all just on this side. And then on this side you have like, oop, all the spinachy things on the just. And then you have some pepper jack cheese and arugula. This is a little bit smaller than I expected it to be, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. It took a minute to really just kind of like taste and digest all of the different flavors that were happening there. There's a lot of spinach inside of the just egg and some sort of like um, herb seasonings that they put in there to just make it taste a little herbaceous than normal but I feel like maybe you should have put the, the seasonings on both sides. Having it on one side kind of gives you like this weird taste texture difference. I like the cheese. The cheese gives it like a nice little like kick at the end and then the arugula is a nice touch too. The ciabatta is a little, it's been sitting for a little bit so it's a little hard but not too hard. Not as bad as maybe some of the places we've been eating at in Universal. For a breakfast option, I kind of like the um, the frittatas, like the little the ones that we got at All Star Sports, a little bit better than this, but it's essentially the same thing in a sandwich. I'm gonna give you four and a half out of five ciabattas just for creativity. I don't know if I would come back here specifically for this, like I would the muffaletta. Got a nice, thick, ooh, I like I like the feel of this bread. Like mattress style. I can sleep on this. You know, Disney, if you want to like bake a bread, maybe queen size mattress, maybe like a small thing, I might. Either way, I'm wondering about how they cooked this egg. This is some super thin just. I think in a grill. And like either they have like a, a perfect size pan for this or they're all using like unfolded, like the, the frozen just. I don't think so. It's just almost too perfect. Now for the bite. Mm. That familiar just flavor, but the arugula with the salsa and the pepper jack on the bottom gives it a nice subtle flavor blast. It doesn't overpower the just, but pairs with it very nicely. Pepper Jack, if it's following your heart like I believe it is, it's like a one and a half out of 10 on the spice scale. It's not very spicy, but it's just enough heat for you to feel it. I love the, the, the texture of the bread. As far as the crisp outside, soft middle, it works really well. Not soggy like the bread that we got for lunch. I think it's a lot more fresh, I guess, but we work here first in the morning, so that makes sense. Uh, I would happily eat this for my pre-park snack. I would give this uh, four or five bars. I was expecting it to be gas station level, but it's not. So here we have uh, one of three of the bagels uh, that they have for breakfast sandwiches at the Four Rock Deli, and I only got two. Uh, this one is just the regular breakfast bagel sandwich. It's got a nice slice of melted cheddar on it, some thick pieces of bacon. You have a nice egg patty, and then in the middle you have some, basically some caramelized egg jam on top of it. Uh, with some uh, sprinkled pepper and other seasonings in here, which I'm glad they actually seasoned the egg and then just dump everything. Caramelized onions, you said caramelized egg jam. Oh, we got caramelized onion jam on this. Yeah, it caramelized egg bro. I don't think you caramelized an egg. Either way, I don't know where my brain is this morning. It's too early for a bear. Well, let's go ahead and let's see. I want to bite of everything. We're going to bite the bacon and the jam and try to get some of the cheddar all in one. Hopefully it doesn't splooge on me because it's like an over easy egg patty. It splooged on me. 
So the onion, actually, being, even though there's a lot of it, is very subtle. Um, it definitely sort of fights with the bacon, so there's being that present flavor. The cheddar is good. Uh, the egg is even good. The bagel, even though it, we had it sitting for a bit, is still very crisp on the outside, but soft in the middle, not soggy. Which is good, I think, that I've been learning. If we're open here for a couple weeks, that we're going to put something wet on the bread that's going to be sitting for a while, that it's going to be in the middle. Um, sides, then it gets all soggy. Nobody wants to eat that. But um, as far as the bagel time just go, it's okay. Uh, I've had better bagels. Um, I like to give you like a choice of bagels. If they have a few bagels in there, so maybe I don't want plain. Maybe I want everything with my bacon. But either way, uh, I think it's decent. Put three out of five plus. So here is the everything bagel sandwich, which is just an egg patty with cheddar cheese and then a sausage patty. And the sausage patty is a bit on the small side compared to the rest of the bagel. I feel like it, you know, you at least get a filming to the edges. Maybe it's just the size of the bagel because this everything bagel is a lot larger than the plain bagel uh, that I got with the other sandwich. But uh, no extra seasonings, but I, I doubt you need them with the everything bagel. Let's hope that this one doesn't splooge on me as well. That's uh, we're gonna bite right here. Here. Okay. Hmm. That is one of those uh, spiced breakfast, like breakfast spiced sausage patties. It goes well with the everything bagel and then the egg. It's just a uh, savory and salty sort of flavor. Um, definitely no spoons this time. It's definitely a lot cleaner than the other bagel was. Um, I had some doubts about the sausage patty to bread ratio, but it actually works kind of well. The one thing that I did like better about the other bagel is that this one is just soft. There's no crisp to this bagel. It wasn't even toasted. So it tastes like. Uh, the plain bagel is definitely toasted. Uh, but honestly, I prefer this one more. I don't know why. You can see everything seasoning, but this packs a lot more flavorful punch and feels a lot more even for breakfast. This would probably fill me up on its own. But I'm probably going to be fatty than both. Mm, three and a half out of five plus. Um, Boardwalk Deli is doing nice. I don't know where you guys have visited yet. Come to the Boardwalk Deli. Stop here before breakfast. Walk from Hollywood Studios, take the boat, take the Skyliner. Come visit this place when you get to stay. Boardwalk Deli might be our new favorite place in the Boardwalk. I think it's funny because you had the choice of getting a banana, an apple, or an orange. We just got three bananas. Right. So we're taking home a bundle of bananas. Bundle. I really thought it was going to be like a fruit cup because it said with fruit. Yeah, no, like, they made actual fruit. They have fruit plates there though with like the leaf symbol on them. I thought they were just going to give you like the little fruit plate no, like they actual do everyone fruit. else. So now I salad. have three bananas eating at home. Yeah, Bear's going to make like a banana smoothie or something with I'm going to do something with them. I'm not wasting, well they're not free bananas, but the bananas. But I want to know what you guys think of Boardwalk Deli so far. We've done lunch and I've done breakfast. So that's a complete coverage of what they have. Yeah, tell us which meal you like better. Yeah, Did you like you hear that. lunch? Breakfast? Mm, I don't know. Tell us oh, in the comments. Let us know in the comments. If you know any other delis around Orlando that do plant-based items, please let us know that as well in the comments below. If there's anywhere you like to see us go, that's also going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell for some videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, I'm pretty sure Bear will never let me stay at the boardwalk again. Ever. She's probably right. You heard the girl. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da! Uh -huh.